Sophia Saves the Earth, the story of Earth Day founder Gaylord Nelson, by Kurt Cassetta. I'm Sophia. I'm going to my grandma's house. She wants us to plant a tree. Like the world needs another tree? Seriously? I mean, over there's a tree, and there's a tree, and hey, under that candy wrapper, there's a quarter. Wow, it's old, from 1961. An eagle's on the back. I'm about to put it in my pocket. And really weird, the eagle shakes his head. His wings flutter. Suddenly, this eagle flies out and parks on top of the park bench. So, he says, what are you doing? I gasp. Are you talking to me? Yep. What are you doing? Um, talking to an eagle? The eagle shakes his head. I mean, did you see that candy wrapper? Sure, I moved it to get the quarter. And you didn't throw it away because? Because it's not my garbage. The eagle's feathers ruffle a little. He says, do you know what day today is? Today? Sure, it's Wednesday. Not just Wednesday, he screeches with a big smile. Wednesday, April 22nd. It's Earth Day. Big deal. Yes, it is, he says. I've got a story for you. I gotta go. It's called Sophia Saves the Earth. Really? I'm a superhero? Sophia Saves the Earth? From what? Aliens? Zombies? Uh, giant bugs? The eagle chuckles. Well, he says, the story starts with a kid named Gaylord Nelson. Gaylord? It's an old name. Gaylord likes nature, he continues. He's just a kid. Maybe a lot like you. Yeah, I gotta go. The eagle hops down. He puts a big old wing around my shoulders. Without Gaylord, Earth wouldn't be as nice or as clean. What is he, a garbage collector? The eagle smiles gently. Ah, uh, no, Gaylord grew up to pass laws that helped the Earth. And even after helping Earth enormously, he said, there's a lot more to be done. I really gotta go. Hop on and I'll tell you the story. It won't take long. He spreads his wings. Hmm, maybe planting grandma's tree can wait a little longer. Hold on. Gently, please. I climb aboard and grab some feathers. Gently, please, he screeches. Oops, sorry. Then amazing, I'm soaring on an eagle. You saw my coin. I've been around since 1961. Wow, I'm thinking, that's a long time. We fly over a shoreline. This is 1961. Waves splash against cliffs and islands. Beautiful, I say. In 1961, Gaylord started saving natural places like this one so people could always enjoy them. Even today, this place looks the same. So everything is the same? Big deal. It is, and Gaylord helped change things that needed to be changed. Hold on, I grab the feathers. Gently, please. Off we go. I notice a city with old style cars spitting out smoke. As there were more cars, there was less fresh air, he says. It's hazy. The sun looks like a flashlight through a blanket. <laughs> Horrible, I cough. Gaylord helped pass laws cutting down harmful smoke. Hold on. The eagle turns a wide circle. This is how it looks today. Below is the same city. I see streets and cars without smoke. That's awesome. But there were other problems, he said. Hold on. Soon we're above a lake. Things are floating and covering the beaches. Water was ruined because people kept dumping chemicals into it, he tells me. Ooh, it stinks, I yell. I look closer. 
Those are fish, hundreds of dead fish. The smell is terrible, but seeing it is even worse. Gaylord helped make rules to keep water cleaner, he says. Hold on. You turn again. Now the lake has clear water and clean beaches. Okay, so Gaylord made the air and water cleaner. When do we get to the Sophia part, I ask? It's coming. Just a couple more stops. Let me guess, I shout. Hold on! We're above another beach, black and shiny. Gaylord saw the damage from this oil spill in the ocean. All the animals and plants were covered with sticky, oozy oil. That's why he wanted people to think about the earth one special day each year, the eagle says. Wait, Gaylord started Earth Day? Yep, the eagle smiles. Now the whole world celebrates it. Just like grandma planting trees. And Earth still needs help, doesn't it? I say. Like Gaylord said, there's a lot more to be done. That's right, Sophia. Why do you care so much, Eagle? He's slowed by some treetops. Here's an eagle's nest of the past. The eggs are cracked, I notice. A chemical got in our food. It made our eggshells weak. They cracked before they were ready to hatch. I'm afraid to ask, did the baby eagles die? They did. A teardrop crosses the eagle's cheek. Gaylord got people to stop using that chemical. Without Gaylord, his voice trails off. The eagles would be extinct, I whisper. He nods. Where now, friend, I ask. Home, Sophia. My story's almost finished. But Eagle, this story isn't really Sophia Saves the Earth, is it? It's Gaylord Nelson Saves the Earth. He's the superhero. Yep, says the Eagle with a wink. But now it's your story. You're the superhero. Suddenly, I'm back where I started, holding the old quarter. The candy wrapper's at my feet. I hear the words, there's a lot more to be done. I stuff the candy wrapper in my pocket. I head off to help grandma plant her tree. But I stop. I put the quarter back for the next kid that comes along. Even though I'm a superhero, I'm gonna need some help. It's not the end, it's the beginning. And you can be an Earth superhero. Recycle paper, metal, and plastic. Don't waste water. Use the car less. And pick up a piece of trash every day. But be safe, make sure it's not too sticky or dangerous. And you can be an Earth superhero.